A big part of the problem that we face is that we are in a domain where there are silent failure modes. I mean, in, in most domains, there are some silent failure modes. Like if you imagine like you're designing a car and you want it to be safe. Most of the ways in which your car can be unsafe will be immediately apparent in even basic testing, you know? Like the engine catches on fire when, when you try to start it or something like that. But then there are some ways that your car can be unsafe that don't appear in testing. Like, you know, the, the metal that you used was like a bit too brittle or something. And so after 10,000 miles, it like starts to wear down and then this component breaks or something like that. That's like harder to discover through, through testing. With AI alignment, it's like there's this whole category of plausible silent failure modes where your AI is, you know, not actually aligned, but pretending to be. Or it's not even pretending yet, but like at some point in the future, it will realize it's misaligned and then it will pretend, which is even harder to fix because like if you look at its thoughts right now, you would see nothing wrong, you know? So there's this whole, there's all these like possible silent failure modes. But then unlike with the car, we can't just afford to actually fail sometimes. Like with the car, it's like, okay, you actually killed a bunch of people, but you just recall it and like fix the part and so forth. But with the AIs, if halfway through the intelligence explosion, as your AIs are automating all the research, including all the alignment research, if they decide that they're misaligned and they decide not to tell you about that, you're just screwed. <laughs> like you, you're not going to recover from that, you know?